Hello friends, welcome back to my double life. You may know this already, but in case you don't, I have children. And now that the new Sims Infant update has happened and the new expansion pack is coming out, I thought it'd be a good time to really indulge in that baby fever I've been feeling as my kids have gotten older. So we are going to play with my family in The Sims. And I think I'm gonna go for that Sims 2 lifetime aspiration of having 10 children. Cause as you guys can see from my other playthroughs, I'm a wonderful mom. So let's see, can I handle having 10 children in my real Sim life? Let's find out. All right, guys, welcome to my super rainy Pacific Northwest uh, cookie cutter home, which is based off my real home. And I will tell you, I did build this myself. So it's clearly terrible and all the proportions are totally wrong. But let me show you here. Just gonna walk through entryway, shoe storage closet. Uh, frames where I actually do have pictures and I've moved those since then. But anyway, this is where I keep all my pet stuff and my pet beds. I do have two dogs and a cat. Playroom that is loaded with posters and my diploma and stuff like that. There's my son. We're gonna call him Kay. Um, why is my cat sick? Okay, we're, we're gonna worry about that later. This is my kitchen. There is a walk-in closet under the stairs, but I'm dumb and I couldn't figure out how to build it. Living room, which is really an extended play area. Kids table for crafts. On the second floor, right as soon as you come up the stairs, there is the super clawed up wall where my cat has destroyed parts of my home. So yay, pets. Uh, laundry room. Then down the hall, we have the kids bathroom. There is my daughter's room. Usually it has a bunk bed, like in real life, but she's a toddler, so I kind of need to stick a toddler bed. She does not have her own computer, but it does have a desk, so I threw the computer there just for my own sanity. My son's room, which does have a bunk bed with a bookshelf, so I'm terrible at building, I'm sorry. This is our ugly couch with our mini fridge, which is also our game room. So this is where the mega TV is and the gaming system. And right next door, where's my door? Something is wrong here. My door is gone. Uh, but yes, this is my office and recording space, which you guys normally see right behind you there. I just put crafts up because I also have crafts in this room. Yay, recording space and more crafts. Uh, and in here is my very messy bedroom where there's cat posts and my lounge and closet, all sorts of crap. More cat posts. We have a Peloton bike we rent, so I just kind of grabbed an exercise machine there. Another TV, more gaming systems, shoes everywhere. So this is where I have our kind of walk-in shower, which is twice that size, but there's no walk-in shower in Sims. So, okay. Single toilet, double mirror bathtub, and my own walk-in closet. Outside, we have kind of a playpen, a pool, a slide, and I actually have one of those big, like, play structures in my teeny tiny yard, but uh, they didn't have one at the time, so I think we're gonna have to add a treehouse once the new expansion is installed, so that way I can replace these with just a treehouse with the slide and all that stuff there. I also do have a little tent they like to play in, and a seating area where I can sit and watch them play. But you know, we're at this point now where my youngest is a toddler, you know? It's at that point that there's no babies around. And sometimes when you hit that two, three year age range, you get baby fever. And my oldest here, he's finally going to school. He's gonna be in kindergarten. So I feel like it's time to have some more babies. But of course, you know, you can wait till the kids go to bed. To be super accurate, my Sim does work in retail management. She's not actually a manager yet. She's in customer support. But you know, she works retail. And my husband here, he works in the science career. So definitely keeps him busy. We're probably not gonna follow him to work though. So after a quick trip to the vet, it is still not time to put the kids to bed. So there will be no baby making just yet. 
All better, Ramon. Good boy. So, I came back home and my house is glitching out, so... A few moments later. Alright, I figured out the problem. Apparently, I uh, had it set to a residential lot because the lot I replaced was residential and I'm just dumb. Sweet baby D here is hungry, so what did I feed her? Animal crackers! Come on! You're better than that! I don't know what you ate either. Let's just hope it was something better than animal crackers. All right, and it is time to do some potty training. So let's go get Sweet D over here and let her out. Why is she so angry? Is it because you're stuck? Oh, you want sugar. Why am I not able to potty train? Oh, in this universe, she might actually already be potty trained, which is not accurate, but you know, we're working on it. All right, it's almost eight o'clock. Let's read the toddler to sleep. Sweet baby D, are you ready for bed? She is still so mad about dessert. Well, you know what? We're going to read a story and then we're going to have some good nai nai. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I put my kids to bed with socks on because it's cold. And I get cold at night. They need to wear socks. What are your thoughts? I do read to them every single night, so this is very accurate. Who is barking? Biscuit. Biscuit is what we call a Borkasaurus Rex. He always has to bark at everything. I did not make you skittish. Why are you afraid of the dishwasher? Okay, she is asleep, he is asleep, perfect, and it's before 9 p.m. So now we can go make babies. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're supposed to be baby making and we have one that's gotten up. Don't walk in there. No, you're just gonna go wake up your brother? Yup, parents are busy and you're gonna go wake up your brother. And now she goes back to bed. Okay, why are you up at 4 a.m.? No, it's too early, it's too early. Go read under the covers. He does, they do like to both read books in bed. She can't actually read, but you know, she tries. She just flips the pages and reads. All right, Simself, it is uh, morning. We need to take a pregnancy test, see if we have baby number three on the way. Gives me anxiety just thinking about it. Yep, baby on the way. And look at that, just like instant belly. Like she's not that pregnant, but okay. Should probably go tell husband. By the way, I'm pregnant, like, from last night, immediately. Um, I saw a tail right here. Ramon, are you inside the cabinet? Alright, it is about almost 6 a.m., so we are going to cook some breakfast. Okay, we're making pancakes. I usually do big sizes, so we always have leftovers. It's just easier. Sweet baby D, why are you still asleep? I mean, that's pretty accurate. She's the heaviest sleeper out of everyone. By heaviest, I mean, like, sleeping in, not actually a heavy sleeper. Okay, we are not having cake for dinner. Breakfast. Breakfast. No, now he's having cake for breakfast. We don't eat cake for- that's where he sits, too, I'll tell you. That is his spot. Can you please finish the pancakes? Your child is eating cake for breakfast. Who pooped in the house? That was not a good choice. Biscuit, was it you? I can vacuum poop? Had no idea that was a thing. Sims logic. Um, the poop is still there. So can you pick it up, please? Thank you. Okay, I know you're hungry, sweetie. How can I not give you the pancakes? Will you not eat the pancakes? No, put her back. Put her back in the high chair. Put her back. I put the pancakes there. Thank you. Thank you. How am I supposed to handle so many of these? Eat pancakes. Yes, with a spoon. Yes, eat pancakes with a spoon. That seems accurate. Also, how did I not remember to change Dee's eyes before I loaded into this? Her eyes are blue, not like my boring, you know, like, brown. Oh well, sorry Dee. You got brown eyes this time. Oh no! Kay's home from school, but he has a school project. Why are my pets so sad? I need to um, pet them and where, why is there no like bark app, you know, or like anything for pet care? Because that, that is severely lacking in the Sims. We need like someone who can come here and walk your pets for you. Oh, so with only yeah. two kids, I try my best to give them their own one-on-one -on -one attention. Um, with Sweet Baby D, we're working a lot on her talking. She's a little bit behind. So we go to speech therapy, things like that. And my Sims doing the same thing, just working on talking and taking care of the pets if I'm off work. But uh, that's with two children. So we'll see how it goes when we have many more. Looks like Kay already finished his homework, but he has not done his project yet. Where is your school project? Is it just in their inventory or yes? Oh, it's a solar system project. So Kay is 
obsessed with outer space. He's very particular about how his uh, solar system looks and it has to be very accurate. And I feel like at this point, you know, I definitely would be assisting. Forget the fact that my mood is kind of terrible, I would for sure assist with that project. So fairly accurate take on this. A lot of the time I'm so busy doing stuff like the household stuff, taking care of the kids that I completely ignore my own hunger bar. Um, since my sim is expecting, we should probably make some dinner really quick. So we're gonna make some chili. That's pretty accurate. I like chili. You throw it in the crock pot and then it's done. Oh no, I'm supposed to go to work? I have to work today? A work chat? What am I chatting with work about? Who knows? I'm not even paying attention. Work just needed me for something, I guess. So we're just gonna take a vacation day because I didn't realize I was supposed to work today. But I'll let you know, I always, always show up to work. I do not miss a day. So that's very unlike me. And toddler is again waking me up in the middle of the night. So let's deal with that. You're hungry. Okay, I'll take care of that. She loves milk. Get the girl some milk. There you go. Animal crackers again. Come on, you can do better than that. All right, she's crabby. She's tired. Put her to bed. Oh my god, the other child is missing school. Get, get up, get up. Uh, go to school, quick. Why are you sneaking downstairs to play with dolls? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're exhausted, you're so tired, you're crying, and yet here you are sneaking downstairs. And I'm taking a nap. Great! Okay, let's wake up, let's go help him. Oh, never mind, he finished it. Good job, honey. So, I just spend all day cleaning out bad food, picking things up, putting toys away, getting rid of sippy cups, and this is with two children. Plus, I literally called out of work. And husband is home, but, you know, he's exhausted from work, so he is going to immediately go to bed. Okay, everyone's hungry, so let's make some food. We're being lazy tonight, we're just making franks and beans, because, you know, we don't care tonight. Biscuit's running a- Biscuit, how did you get out? I don't let you go running around by yourself. Alright, time to grab our phone, and we are going to post about the fact that Biscuit is missing, because I'm terrible. Okay, I am dumb and I can't figure out how to post the fact that my pet is missing. Husband, can you maybe help? Help, please? There it is. Post the alert about the missing pet. Thank you. Can you grab a serving yourself? Great. Go eat. Oh, God. Oh, this is why I have couch covers because they just eat there and it's a mess and I should probably have them eat in the high chair, but apparently me doesn't care right now. Okay, let's read the toddler to sleep, then you can finally go to bed. I swear I will give you a bath tomorrow. I'm sorry you are stinky. I'm starting to think that Ramon might actually be stuck in there. Because I haven't seen him wandering around. Alright, I have altered my countertops to make them Ramon friendly. So now he is not stuck in the counter. I don't know how many sim days that was, but I feel bad. Okay, everyone's hungry. Come on, let's go down and make some breakfast. Really, has no one been eating my leftovers? They've all gone bad again. How often do things I cook go bad in the fridge? It's a lot. We're making just some fruit salad and we're only making family size because they're not eating my food. Come on, Kay, come get some leftovers. You gotta go to school soon. Leftover pancakes is good. I'll deal with that. Some nice conversation while I'm cooking and he's eating. That's pretty normal for me. Aw, he has to go to school sad because his pet is missing. I'm sorry, we'll be nicer to Biscuit, I promise. I'm just a little overwhelmed right now with only my real life and two children. Okay, it's finally bath time for baby D. Because she's been stinky for days. Oh my gosh, my sim peed herself. This is what happens. I was trying to take care of the toddler. Okay, let's take a shower and not be disgusting, because I cannot... Wait a second, Teddy is uh, sleeping in bath water. Great job. How is she still stinky? I just bathed her. How? How? Okay, while she's asleep, we're just going to do a tiny bit of nesting, because I have a bassinet from both of my children that is in the garage. So we are going to bring it here and put it... I usually put it like within my reach, so we're just gonna put it right there and hopefully my sim can still get in bed. And then we have a rocking chair that used to be in Dee's room and it wasn't Kay's room. So I don't even know where I'd put that now. I'd probably have to get rid of something. 
Maybe I would just have to clean up my shoes and then put it right in the entryway. Yeah, because there's room between that and the TV. I can fit the rocking chair. Can I get into my side of the bed? Yes, I can. Good job. All right, it's a little later in the day and uh, we got new, new hair clips. So uh, we are ready to have this new child because, you know, we got to grow our family. I got that baby fever real bad. Also, I don't know about you guys, but she looks kind of like very, very pregnant. Like I would not be surprised if we got twins in there, which is another reason why I would be literally terrified to try for a third child because I do not need me some twins. Um, you know, it's kind of dirty. Can we turn on my Roomba that I never use and it sits in my closet underneath a bunch of crap? Cause I would like a slightly cleaner house maybe. It's not like I've even been to work. Oh, I guess I'm going to work now. So here's the thing. I have family that watches my kids and I do pay them. So we're gonna hire a nanny. You know, playing this is really making me question how much time Sim children spend, you know, alone, especially toddlers. Like I would not leave my toddler alone to get their own food and in a room for an extended period of time. That's just a terrible idea. Pretty accurate, I get home from work and I'm ready to just like keel over. So let's go to bed. Sorry children, you're putting yourselves to bed. So our nanny's name is Alexi, Aleki, something like that, sorry. Um, we're gonna call him Garbanzo. Oh no, I didn't even make it to the bed. Roomba, just, you know, don't suck up all my, all my work clothes, please. I do need those. Husband, can you refill the pet bowls at least, you know, like, I've been doing kind of everything. The house is disgusting. We got bunnies. The kids are on the tablet by themselves. Th things are just not, not going so good right now. Yeah, I need you to fill all the pet bowls, scoop the litter box, and can you welcome Biscuit home? Because he just came home. Um, can somebody put the child to bed? The child is just playing on a tablet at midnight. So husband, please put the, the child to bed. Are you stuck? Did I build a poorly done house? Put the child to bed, dang it. It is two in the morning. The child is tired and still playing on a tablet. Oh, nope, I gotta go deal with it myself. Okay, I will put the child to bed apparently. She's like, nah, I'm good. I'm playing my tablet. No, you're tired. And you're scared? You're scared of the monster? We finally get everyone to sleep and now she's in labor. You know what, we're gonna, we're sleeping through it. I don't wanna do this again, labor is terrible. We're just gonna sleep through it. Oh, you wet yourself. You probably wet the bed too. I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. Don't look at me like that. I know I made you wet the bed. It's fine, you're in labor. People will forgive you. Okay, let's go to the hospital. I will join you because I want to have like extra perfect moodlets as soon as we get done. Where is husband? Husband, you are missing the birth. He's asleep. This is my, my, my sim life. It is a boy. All right, we're naming this first boy the name that was my plan name if I was a boy, as in the one my parents picked out. So, you know, to honor them, I will name my second born son, Austin. There we go, we have a new- Why are you dropping a burrito on Austin? So here's the fun part with the baby update. I just gotta show you guys here. There are new interactions, even for the newborns. So sweet baby D here. No, don't worry about mom. You're gonna go interact with your new baby brother because you are no longer the youngest in this household. Oh yes, be goofy. Show him how great you are. Assert dominance. Well, the other child is here, so let's talk and entertain and coo at the baby. Okay, it's kind of cute. I don't know if he'd ever be that nice to a new baby, though. He'd tell me it's stinky and it smells like poo. But, you know, you've earned your bedtime. Go ahead and go to sleep. All right, I think with that, we're going to go ahead and end this part here. We're going to have to go ahead and get some cheat codes to make my household bigger because I'm maxed out at eight sims and it's already pure chaos. But... We need more children. So I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you think of this series and uh, thanks for watching.